Uh, Darren, a really disappointing evening. Just what's your immediate thoughts following that? Um, I think what tonight has highlighted is we lack men, we lack leaders, we lacked know-how. Um, and unfortunately, that's because the group we're having to pick from at the minute is, is limiting us. You know, and I normally, and I normally back these boys, but they've, they've disappointed me tonight. They've obviously disappointed everyone connected to the club, but I very rarely feel as disappointed about performance as I, as I did tonight. Bad decision making, too many people trying to play for themselves rather than the team. Dribbling with no success, no end product. Just a, a really, a really, really bad performance tonight. We always knew that they were going to view this as a game that they had to win with their position in the we table. We had to win it as well. We had to win it. You know, I, I understand what you're saying, but every game we go into, we should be viewing it as one we have to win. Um, but I had a, I had a boys' team out there tonight. And obviously, you touched on that that the character wasn't there. Just how do you put your finger on that? There's a number of words in there, you know, I've used them like inexperience, you could say inexperience, we ain't got we ain't got our senior players, we ain't got we ain't got one or two of our players that can get hold of a game and make a difference with a with a tackle or some information or you know and it's just crazy that we was this time last week we was three in a row and looked very confident. And now we look short of confidence. Um, I feel for Lochi, I've got to be honest. I, I really feel for Lochi. He's been outstanding and he's conceding seven goals in, in two games. Um, prior to Halifax, we was, I, I think we were at the least amount of goals conceded. And we've blown that out of the water with two really crappy performances and conceded seven goals. So we've all got to take our fair share of responsibility. But the, the lack of leaders and the lack of men out there it was quite alarming, to be honest. And obviously, we like to keep the ball regularly, but did you feel that sometimes the ball was going a bit too direct to Alfie up top? I didn't. No, it's, it's quite the opposite tonight. I don't think we, we got it forward um, with any real purpose and, and quick enough at times. Um, Halifax, I think we played forward too quickly, and today we didn't play forward quick enough. So there's a, there's a, there's a balance that's not right at the minute. Um, and it's only going to take hard work to get us out of this this little situation we find ourselves in. You know, the, I still have faith in these boys. I st- I obviously, need one or two back to help us, which I'm hoping will be available for Saturday. But you know, that's that's no excuse. I don't like to use that. I had 11 players on the pitch tonight that I thought were capable of winning the game, but um, they proved me massively wrong today because they weren't good enough and. And it's a really, really disappointing performance. And just lastly, is it about picking ourselves up now, assessing what's gone wrong tonight, and moving on to Saturday and trying to right the wrongs? Yeah, we've, we, you know, we've just had words in there. You know, you know, we, they, they know my feelings. They know my feelings. And if I could, I'd make quite a number of changes. I'm not in that position at the minute, but there will come a time where there is a bigger group of players to select from. And one or two of them won't be allowed to play like that tonight and get away with it because they find themselves sitting in the stand or sitting on the bench and find it very difficult to get back in because that's unacceptable tonight.